Hello, this is Nathan, and I'm going to do my day three out of my 30-day challenge video. And so what I'm going to talk about is kind of what my uh, plans are for the near future, so I can let you in on uh, maybe what you'll expect to see and hopefully what I'll enjoy doing in the near future. So I'm going to show you a little clip, like a... A little summary of the, the farm, the farm, hobby farm, the property that we bought, but um, here it is. So this is about five acres, and it's pretty much all grass right now, and it's surrounded by, um, we got like neighbors on each side, but they're all pretty much wooded properties. But anyway, the reason why we bought it, or I shouldn't, I suppose I shouldn't speak for Michelle, but the reason why I bought it, or I wanted to buy it, was that it would allow me to practice doing a little bit of gardening because that seems to be like what's really piquing my interest right now is how to get like super healthy, you know, like not being tired in the mornings, not being tired after, you know, any sort of activities, like, you know, just in your daily pursuit, like always feeling full of energy and stuff. And I, I'm be really, really getting to the point where I feel like we need to get like really high quality nutrition and not so much you know store bought you know cardboard food that doesn't have any nutrition in it whatsoever you know even organic stuff although it doesn't have the pesticides you know just doesn't have the the energy or the mojo that uh, people really need cuz they've just cuz of the farming techniques that people have been using so I'd like to really try my hand at growing really super high quality foods that I didn't really have the opportunity to, to do in the cities, you know, because there's so many buildings around and so little square footage to uh, really make things happen and experiment and stuff. So some of the areas that I found really interesting are like biodynamic gardening and high bricks gardening, like both of those they, like they bring me a lot of joy um, just reading about them and learning about them so like I'd like to really try and practice on those types of things quite a bit and the other area that's really interesting to me to me is permaculture and in particular food forests so where you create like a permanent food system of plants that come back year after year that provide you with food and like other sorts of goodies if you need them and it oh, also as like a I'd really like to create like a food forest for the sake of creating like a tithe to nature so you know as humans we have a tendency of like really taking from nature and not really giving anything back and so I'd really like to try to create like an environment like a little garden of Eden of sorts where you know I, I provide for nature and then nature provides for me back you know like where like one of the great things about permaculture is that you use nature to do a lot of the work for you because that's what they're good at you know they, they already have jobs and roles that uh, can provide the functions that you need um, so in the near future I would also like to start maybe doing like an apprenticeship or something at uh, some nearby farms that are a little more of higher conscious than you know just standard farms and also in the near future I'd like to maybe do some videos sh you know showing other people how like some of the things that I'm experimenting with and doing and seeing like how well they work for, for me and like they can try them if it works out for them as well and, oh, I, I almost forgot.
the winter greenhouse or the passive solar greenhouse that we're building on my mom's farm. Like that is something that uh, as people that are up here in Minnesota, we really need to work on season extension technologies, you know, to really kind of integrate them into the way that we think and into the way that we grow food so that we're not like importing all of our food during the winter months. And uh, I'm sure you'll see lots more of that as time comes on, or as time goes on. So as always, thanks a lot. Have a wonderful day and enjoy yourselves.